When I was watching it, I forgot that I was on the show. I forgot that I was watching a show that I work on every day. I, I really got, um, I think everyone just really got sucked in to the, um, to the danger um, aspect of it, that, that there was a lot of suspense. You didn't know who was going to get shot next. It was shocking that Reed got shot first in the head. I mean, when she went down, it was just like, okay, we're in for a seriously like scary episode here. We come back to the, the hospital, and it's post-shooting, and I think uh, we're going to just see people take steps in their relationships, um, and I think they're definitely, it's, it's a game changer, it's a life changer for everyone, and the shooting, I think, leads people to make certain choices and decisions in their own personal lives, and professionally as well. We have several doctors who have been thoroughly affected by this shooting, and so some, uh, they bring in a therapist to decide who's ready to you know, go into surgery and who needs more time to cope with, you know, what happened with the shooting. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see, you know, who fights for surgeries and who just, no matter what they do, they are not allowed to operate. Personally, there's a lot of couples that move forward. Christina and Owen get married. It's a beautiful, intimate ceremony at Meredith's house, and everybody's there um, to support them in this. And Kelly in Arizona, they uh, take another very important step when you're getting involved um, with someone. I'm thrilled to hear that. It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, I guess uh, people are interested in, in the relationship. I mean, maybe it says more about the relationship and how it came about as opposed to the fact that it's two women, although I think there's a lot of support out there to, to, um, to be watching a, a lesbian couple on primetime television and on Grey's Anatomy in the hospital without commenting too much on it though that's what's really cool is they've found the writers have found a really brilliant way to bring a very human relationship and a story that reflects the real world out there um, to a show a in a way that is romantic that is sexy that is thoughtful that has universal uh, messages in all relationships universal themes universal conflicts and so I think um, I don't know what it says about uh, you know what America likes to, to watch, but um, Jessica and I are thrilled. They're basically just dealing with getting f deeper involved with someone, and when you're in a relationship and you get deeper involved, there are themes like moving in together. Um, who lives in the same apartment as you? How do you deal with the other person's friends who are really their closest friends, and do you get along with them, and do you like them? And um, how do you negotiate space in an apartment together and the getting to know use of that? And I just think that Callie and Arizona are going to continue to get to know one another because, as we all know, it takes, takes a long time to get to know somebody, and they have really jumped to the next level, and I think the shooting has had a big effect on their relationship. I don't think we're going to see that many make or break kind of fights or issues, at least in the beginning. But as we get deeper in the season, we may start to see more conflict build again. And perhaps as a result of having made such a quick decision to move in together, um, potentially the ramifications of that. You know, are, did you pick the person because you were afraid to be alone? Did you pick the person because you're afraid to die? Or, you know, is this really the right person for you? And so I, I hope that this season, I think that this season, we'll, we'll explore that deeper and really get clear about why these two are together. The reading of it was, I was very newly pregnant, and I knew, but besides my husband, no one else knew, and so I was sort of just like, you know, you're, you're kind of always on tender hooks and excited and everything else. And we go to these table reads, and we did them in two parts, and they were like, jump out of your skin, holy crap, I can't believe what's happening. And I didn't know if I was just being sensitive to the elements because I was pregnant or what, but I had some serious blood pressure issues. It was very outside the box, I think, for Grays, but at the same time, it felt completely organic and completely um, natural to what was what had been happening during the dur during the school year, if you will, and what and, and the way to cap it all off. It just seemed all like it made sense, but it scared the bejesus out of me. I keep saying, I'm the newbie, so I still long for the drama. So I have no idea if you know we're going off into happy land or whatnot. But I can't imagine that there aren't some obstacles ahead of us. Um, but I think that last year it was really nice to see um, Callie and Arizona in a relationship that was very stable. It was sort of like, I mean, I saw it written somewhere that was like that was like the most stable, most mature relationship on the show. Um, that it it just sort of stayed very even until the end when we sort of had a little bit of a row about 
you know, having babies, which was something that I don't think anyone expected Arizona to say, you know, I don't want to have babies. Um, but then by the end, when uh, my character comes to her and says, you know, after this life, life and death life and death experience, you know, I'll have babies, I'll have 14 babies, I'll blah, blah, blah. I don't know that we necessarily should believe that. <laughs> to have support, to have um, people watching and rooting for you and in any way, shape, or form, whether it's for you as an individual character, whether it's for you as a couple, I mean, it's, it's fantastic. And, you know, it's, there's nothing underwhelming about it. It's only overwhelming. And, um, and I feel really lucky. And I feel like... Um, I feel like a lot of it is due to, is, not, is, is for lack of trying in a way. And if that sounds weird, I don't know how else to say it. It's, it's not, neither of us sort of endeavor to be, you know, cherished or loved or you know, like, let's put this couple forward and hope that, you know, everyone loves this couple. It's sort of just, you know, every experience we get given amazing material. Shonda writes beautiful stories. The writers write beautiful stories. They write complex, complicated dire sad sweet happy stories and we just perform them and then what comes out of that um i think is is has been really great